welcome to Hair of the Rabbit podcast. We explore everything that is rabbit. We look at different rabbit breeds, history, superstition, pop culture, news, and more. I would like to thank you for joining me today, your host, Jeff Hittinger. I'm not an expert. I'm just curious about learning more about rabbits, just like you. The cinnamon rabbit is instantly recognizable thanks to its striking cinnamon fur coloring. The cinnamon rabbit is a beautiful domesticated rabbit breed, and of course the name cinnamon rabbit is derived from its russet color fur. The 2011-2015 American Rabbit Breeders Association standard for perfection describes the cinnamon coloration as follows. Color is to be rust or cinnamon color with uniform smoky gray ticking across the back. The color is to blend into smoke gray midway on the side and become darker on the belly. The undercolor is to be an orange. A rust or cinnamon surface color with smoke gray tickling is specifically called for across the back of the rabbit. The smoke gray should enhance the rust color and gradually dominate as a surface color changes to a smoke gray midway on the sides. This describes a two-colored rabbit having a gradual transition from one surface color to another. The cinnamon rabbit fur. I believe that the most striking characteristic of the cinnamon is, of course, the cinnamon rabbit's fur. Without a doubt, the first thing that attracts your eyes to is the unique color. The same coat pattern is seen in lops and netherland dwarves and can be brought forth in satins and wrecks. Cinnamon rabbits have a light brown color, like the hue of ground cinnamon, with smoke gray shading around the ears, snout, and paws. They do not come in any other colors. This color is a rusty brown body, about the same shade as a stick of cinnamon spice used in the kitchen. Over the back of the adult is a smoky gray tickling, which gives a delicate two-tone effect. The fur is beautiful and rather rare, and the cinnamon's coat is short and relatively easy to maintain. Weekly or bi-weekly grooming with a slicker brush should be sufficient for the most part, excluding, of course, shedding season. During shedding season, you'll have to increase your brushings to twice a week to maintain this rabbit's soft fur. The undercoat is orange. The coat is of normal length, which is one to one and a half inches long. A tickle coat is a type of fur coat characteristic of wild rabbits. It is comprised of hair strands with bands of various color. The cinnamon rabbit is extremely outstanding in look with the ground or rust cinnamon coloring and consistent gray tickling across its back. The cinnamon rabbit has different rust colored markings inside its back legs and these marks habitually appear on its face and feet. The back legs, the face, and the feet of the cinnamon rabbit breed are inclined to be uh, darker than the remaining parts of the body. It has a butterfly effect spots on the nose and small circles by each eye. Blowing into the fur of the back and belly displays a delicate orange undercolor. Absence of any of these characteristics is a disqualification. The color should blend smoothly but distinctly without splotchy patches or excessive white hairs to detract from the appearance. The legs and the entire tail are also dark, and the underside from chin to crotch is perhaps the darkest of all. It is relieved only by two orange lap marks in the groin area. More gray than rust color is present on the extremities, especially on the face, ears, and tail, which are a darker shade of gray than the rest of the body. In some rabbits, these accents may be closer to black. The cinnamon has been carefully bred to achieve a specific coloring, and variation on that coloring are rare. The cinnamon color is genetically a black tortoise with the genotype little AA, big BB, CC, DD, little ee. Rufus modifiers contribute to the especially rusty color and the wide band gene may also play a part. Now we're going to get into the cinnamon rabbit body description. This breed has a stocky medium length body with prominent round hips. The head is set closely to the body. They are a medium to large in size with the males weighing eight and a half to ten and a half pounds with the females weighing nine to eleven pounds. The cinnamon rabbit is an average body length rabbit and its hips are deeper and broader than its shoulders. An adult cinnamon rabbit has a maximum body weight that ranges between 8.5 and and 11 pounds overall. This is between 3.9 and 5 kilograms. They are a stocky breed, medium length, with upright, medium-sized ears. The cinnamon rabbit's hips are deeper and wider than its shoulders. Its head is proportionate to its body, and its ears are erect. They are a good-looking rabbit who is very much show-worthy because of their stunning coat. Their heads are proportional to their bodies, and they have vertical ears, which can grow to be as long as four inches. Litters are born with their shading already marked out on their skin, and as soon as their baby fur grows in, they develop glorious-looking coloring that makes them a delight to for visitors to your rabbitry. They lack the tickling over the back, and their soft baby fur is quite a different texture, which shows off the color in a soft glow. The ears and eyes of the cinnamon rabbit breed. 
The cinnamon rabbit breed has vertical ears. Cinnamon rabbits have long ears, which can be as long as four inches. Uh, that's 10.2 centimeters or longer. The ears are not too short and not too long, and they stand upright. The eyes are brown and emphasized by dark eye circles, while their nose sports a butterfly effect in the same color. We're going to now cover the temperament and personality of the cinnamon rabbit. Despite their spicy name, the cinnamon rabbit tends to be docile and sociable. They enjoy the attention of both people and other rabbits and are adaptable to their environments. They're usually quite calm. Like many other breeds, the cinnamon rabbit is generally docile, calm, curious, and friendly. Cinnamon rabbits could be perfect as pets. It is a calm, laid back, and well disposed and enjoys attention. The breed's amiable nature makes it ideal for pet owners and is large enough for youth who would like and can also manage a bigger sized rabbit, devoid of being one that is excessively giant sized to manage. The cinnamon rabbit breed is an enduring breed, quite calm, well disposed, and takes pleasure in the attention. Due to their calm, docile nature, cinnamon rabbits are great bunnies for first time pet owners or for parents who would like to see their child grow into the responsibility of being a pet caregiver. They start off as small as your hand and grow into a rather large bunny. Any rabbit that receives a little extra in the way of attention is soon perceived to have some sort of personality, but in the cinnamon, it seems to take the form of a very gentle disposition. There are exceptions in every breed of rabbit, but the cinnamon rabbit seems to have an exceptional tolerance to handling by inexperienced people. Adult bucks and does are easy for youth to handle and are fine animals for use in showmanship classes. This is a friendly animal that is compatible with other rabbits. The new cinnamon mothers don't seem to get as excited as some young does of other breeds, and the youngsters exploring the new world from the safety of the nest box are typically very cute, friendly bunnies who readily learn to look forward to the coming of their caregivers. Compared to other pets, they are relatively easy to maintain and will live a long, healthy life if they are taken care of properly. If you would like to email me, reach out at hairoftherabbit at gmail.com, or you can visit the website at hairoftherabbit.com. Dot com. If you would like to support the podcast and keep the lights on, you can support us whenever you use Amazon through the link at the website on the support the podcast page. This will not cost you anything extra and I cannot see who purchased what. You can also become a Fluffle fan supporter by donating through Patreon. And again, there's a link at the hair of the rabbit podcast.com.